Hello, great people. Welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. The legal team of Mazin Namdekano are still commenting on the words that the president said during the last interview he had with journalists from Channel TV. Don't forget that he says he will not interfere in the judiciary uh, job, that they should go ahead and do what they're supposed to do, and Mazin Namdekano should face the law. But right now, Ejima Kaur has decided to still bring up the word, and he has this to tell President Muhammadu Buhari. And also, in another news, uh, one of uh, the southeastern politician and a renowned, you know, senator has made a strong statement about President Muhammadu Buhari in respect to possible su surprise for the southeast we're just wondering what the surprise will be but before uh, we continue if you're not subscribed to our channel kindly hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos aloy jimako special counsel to namdi kano leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipop on friday reacted to president muhammad ubuhari's remark on the call for the cessationist release Speaking, Ejimako expressed hope that Buhari will someday be held accountable for his comment to allow the judiciary to decide Kanu's matter. Recall that Buhari had ruled out the possibility of a political solution to Kanu's matter. Buhari, who said Kanu can't be released, assured that he won't interfere with the judiciary over the trial of the agitator. This followed a call by some Igbo elders led by former aviation minister Mbazulike Amechi that the president should consider the release of the IPOP leader. However, Ejimako said Buari's latest remark has deemed the possibilities of Kano's release. According to Ejimako, he said that Buari's remark on releasing Namdi Kano is too faceted, whereas he appears to have deemed the prospect of an execution, ex executive decision to release Kanu, he also stated that he has left it to the judiciary to decide. Wari is therefore saying that he will respect and implement any judicial decision on Kanu, including an order for his release. This is not the first time he has said such a thing. He said it to Chief Mbazulike Amechi when he made such a remark two months ago. I hope a day will come sooner than later when Buhari will be held to his commitment and promise to respect any judicial decision on Kano's matter, whether it is bail, mistrial, outright unconditional release. Meanwhile, in another development, the Senate Chief Whip, Senator Ojuzo Kalu, says President Muhammadu Buhari may surprise people of Southeast ahead of 2023. Kalu spoke on Thursday in his Kam Neya country home in Igbere during a meeting with members of his political structures in Abuja, or sorry, in Abia. The lawmaker noted that Buhari's single biggest capital project is being constructed in the Southeast. He described the 369 billion naira second Niger B bridge as the current administration costless. The Senate chief will urge Ibos to have faith in president and support the All Progressive Congress APC government. The president still has 17 months in office and has a role to play in 2023. He may surprise the Southeast zone. The ex-governor said the Buhari administration's commitment to 100% budget implementation in 2020 and 2021 was unprecedented. No past president or governor in the country has been able to achieve full implementation of the budget since the present democratic dispensation. Kalu told his supporters to get their voters card before the general election for full participation. He urged them to remain committed to the 2023 governorship project and install a person that will deliver the dividends of democracy to the people. Wow, wow. This is um, coming from a senior uh, political stalwart in the Southeast. And I'm just wondering the kind of uh, possible uh, meeting that he may have had with the president that uh, had made him to say that Buhari may likely surprise 
South East. I'm just wondering the, the surprise that may come up. Apart from anything, I think the, the greatest surprise that may come up as at this time, it's just two players. The first will be for him to install a South East president or possibly the unconditional release of Mazin Namdekanu. But for that of Mazin Namdekanu, uh, for many, uh, that has been trashed because the president has already made it clear that he will not interfere in the case of uh, Mazin Namdekanu, but will allow judiciary to take uh, full course. But however, looking at what Ijimako has said, let, let, let's just look at what Ijimako has said because what he has said is very, very interesting. And it's a pointer to the fact that uh, uh, there are already structures on ground to ensure the successful judicial process uh, in respect to Mazi Namdikanu's case. Because uh, if you listen to his word, he's like, let's allow it be. Whatever the president has said, that judiciary should take its full cause in our world, judiciary should be allowed to handle the issue, that everybody should be at peace. Nobody should be troubled. And I, I seem to stand with him somehow. Now, now, I'll state my reason. The reason why I say uh, what Buhari has said should not kick start any trouble in the country is um, if you, if he was to be unconditionally released, I don't even think there's anything like unconditional release because, first of all, they were looking at political solution, which means that he will, uh, they will have to bring list of things that Mazin Amdikano will not do again. He will obtain his signature before he will be released. You understand? Because if you are talking about unconditional release of Mazin Amdikano, you know what I'm saying? Well, he did not commit any crime. We have released him to go ahead and do whatever he feels like doing. So for me, there is no, uh, based on what the, based on the fact that he was even being, you know, kind of kidnapped and brought down to Nigeria, there is no room for unconditional release. The only thing they will do is, okay, Mazinam Nikano, as long as Buhari is in power, you will not uh, stay outside and be troubling his government. You will not speak ill of his administration. You will not speak ill of Nigeria. Uh, you will not have any meeting with your people which will bring about any trouble and all of that. that that's what they would have done. But if now that they have agreed to give judiciary a free hand to run this case, it therefore means that in event of the judiciary finally reaching a consensus or finally reaching a decision or a pronouncement that Mazinam Dikanu did not cause or did not commit any crime and this particular trial is a mistrial, and for that reason, let's release him. It therefore means the president will not president and his cabinet will not have anything that they will do to stop it. But you know, you know, you know, you know what I mean. It, it can't just happen like that, you understand? Because already we know that there are a long list of things that they claim that he has done, which is terror-related, you know, and uh, to, to release him unconditionally like that or free him, uh, will be difficult except for the fact that uh, now they have introduced people who are, you know, more sophisticated when it comes to legal knowledge. Possibly they will capitalize on the loopholes of the constitution and also the law in Nigeria to ensure that Mazin Namdekanu is released. But right now, I think uh, with the statement that the president has made, the best thing is to equip the legal team with the finest, you understand? Equip them with the finest people that are we uh, people that have track record of successes in cases like this. Bring them in, irrespective of where they're coming in. I believe that uh, I don't have the capacity to pay the bills. You know, you bring them in and see how you can capitalize on their mental capacity or their legal capacity and legal progress and win this case because the president say he's not going to interfere with it. So that's that's what really matters right now. You understand? But looking at what uh, the South is, uh, the former. Um, uh, Abia State Governor has said that there's a surprise that may likely spring out from the office of the presidency. Well, I'm just waiting. What do you think may likely be such surprise? Do you think 
that he will be in support of Igbo presidency or possibly may do something unthinkable before the end of his tenure, which will be to the um, favor of the Southeast. Let's interact in our comments.